In this video, I'm going to show you how to do prime factorization to find the GCD or the greatest common divisor and the LCM, which stands for least common multiple of two numbers. So let's say we want to calculate the GCD and the LCM of 120 and 500. The first step is to do prime factorization. So 120 is the same as 10 times 12. And 10 is the same as 5 times 2. And because both of these are prime numbers, I want you to circle them. As for 12, 12 is 3 times 4, and 4 is 2 times 2. This means that 120 is equal to 2 to the power of 3, because we have 2 times 2 times 2, so 2 to the power of 3 times a 3, because we have the 3 here, and then times 5. So I want you to write it like this, and let's go ahead and do prime factorization for 500. 500 is equal to 5 times 100, and 100 is equal to 10 times 10, and 10 is 5 times 2, same thing for over here. 500 is equal to 2 to the power of 2 times 5 to the power of 3. So what is the next step? Well, the next step is I want you to find the numbers that don't have an exponent. So let's look at this. Which one does not have an exponent? It's 3 and 5, right? So make it 3 to the power of 1 and 5 to the power of 1. And you'll see why we do this. As for here, all of these have exponents, so we don't need to worry about them. And we're almost done. If you look at these numbers, we have 2, 3, and 5, right? But if you look at these numbers, we only have 2 and 5. We don't have a 3. So that's why multiply this with 3 to the power of 0. This doesn't change anything because that's the same as multiplying by 1. 3 to the power of 0 is 1. So I'm going to put the results at the bottom so it's easier to look at. And we're now ready to calculate the GCD. So the GCD is equal to 2 to the power of min of 3 and 2. So where did this come from? So we have the exponent 3 and 2. And just put it inside a function called min. And I'll show you how to calculate this. It's very easy. Now the same thing over here. We have a 3. And then we have the exponents 1 and 0. So put it inside the function min of 1 and 0. And then 5 with min 1 and 3. Now, let's take a look at min 3 and 2. And just take the smaller number. So it's going to be 2. That's all you have to do. Just take the smaller number. So guess what this is going to be? Min of 1 and 0. That's right, it's going to be 0. And min 1 and 3 would just be 1. And so 2 to the power of 2 gives you 4. 3 to the power of 0 is 1. And then 5, then you have 20. So this is the GCD of 120 and 500. The GCD is very useful when it comes to simplifying fractions. So let's say we have 120 over 500. We find the GCD, which is 20. So we divide the numerator by 20, the denominator by 20, and you have 6 over 25. And this is the simplified fraction. Calculating the LCM is actually very similar. So instead of min, just do max. And that's all you have to do. And guess what? Max will let you take the larger number out of the two. So 3 and 2, just take 3. Max of 1 and 0 is a 1. Max of 1 and 3 is a 3. 2 to the power of 3 is 8. And then times 3 times 125 is 3000. The LCM is very useful when it comes to determining what is the common denominator. Let's say you're adding these two fractions. So the common denominator it's going to be 3,000. That's the least common denominator. What can we do? Well, we take 1 over 120 times 25. So this will give you 3,000. And 500 times 6 will also give you 3,000. So you end up with this. And 25 plus 6 is going to be 31 over 3,000. So I'm going to put the general formula at the top left corner. So this is everything that we just went through. And why don't you go ahead and find the GCD of 
24 and 36 as well as the LCM and let me know what are your answers in the comment section below. In the next video, I'm going to show you another way to calculate the GCD and the LCM using the Euclidean algorithm. And it's not hard, it's very easy. And that's basically it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope everything made sense. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share with your classmates and I'll see you in the next video.